But now let's talk about mean, max, argmin, and argmax. And as you can see here, we have imported NumPy as np, and here I have defined a one-dimensional array, which is basically a bunch of numbers. And these are the corresponding indices of these values. So you can see that the index of this first value is zero, because as you know, Python is start counting at zero. So this is the value at index zero, this is the value at index one, and etc. And for example, if I want to calculate the minimum value, I simply type np.min of x. And now let's print the result. So we want to print the minimum value of x, which you can see it is 10. But here is a question. How can we calculate the index of the minimum value? So as you can see, the value which is minimum is 10, but the index of this value is 2. It means that the value which is minimum is at index 2. How to calculate the index of the minimum value? In order to do so, we can use a function which is called argmin. It means that the argument which is the minimum value. So now if I run the code, you can see here is the output which shows the index of the minimum value. And with a similar approach, we can calculate the maximum value of x and the argument, which is the maximum value of x, I mean the index of the maximum value. So if I run the code, you can see the maximum value is 600, and the index of that value is 1. But here is a possible question that you may ask, and that question is, what would happen if we have, for example, two minimums? So we can see that here we have two 10. One is at index 2, and the other one is at index 4. So as you can see, the minimum value is 10, but what about the index of the minimum value? And the answer is NumPy is going to return the first index. So we can see that the first value which the NumPy is encountering with is this value, which the corresponding index is two, so it is going to return two, not four. So if I run the code, you can see it returns two because this is the first index, this is the first value which the NumPy encounters with. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.